It's more than a case of rotten tomatoes in Gaza. It's a moth called Tuta absoluta, and it's destroying tomato crops. The pest has migrated from South America to Europe and is now invading crops across the Middle East. This year we had this Tuta absoluta insect, and it attacks the leaf first, followed by the tomato. This greenhouse cost me a lot of money, and we cannot afford it. This farmer lost his entire tomato crop just as he was about to harvest it. He tried using chemicals to kill Tuta absoluta, but they didn't work. This is a tough bug to beat. Worldwide, it's devastated crops from potatoes to eggplant, but it has a preference for tomatoes. If Tuta absoluta really takes hold in Gaza, we're going to see a number of detrimental effects. First of all, to the 3,000 farmers whose livelihoods depend on greenhouse tomatoes. Secondly, we're going to see um, an increase in food insecurity, which already stands at about 60% in Gaza. The impact of Israel's war on Gaza and the siege have exacerbated the problem. Many greenhouses were severely damaged during the war, and since then farmers have been unable to repair them because the material they need has not been allowed in for the last three years. But now Israel is concerned if Tuta Absoluta spreads, it could infest its crops as well. So Israel has agreed to allow the United Nations to bring in 10,000 traps and 30,000 packets of lethal pheromones for Gaza's tomato farmers. This trap is packed with female pheromones to attract the male moth. But once the moth touches the water, it dies. So farmers are hoping that these traps will wipe out the Tuta Absoluta from Gaza. But they'll have to act quickly because this moth is on the move, leaving a trail of ruined crops in its wake. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Gaza.